Hi guys, Steve here. On this video, I'm going to show you something pretty special and epic. It's how to tame an Amagasaurus with an Alpha Rex. You can tame one or more Amagas with one single Rex. But before I do it, I'm going to quickly answer the three main questions asked in my last video, the best way to solo tame an Amagas. The first question was, why didn't I tame it in a volcanic area? Because there's hardly any Amagas here. We have a huge turning radius. And this area is a vertical death trap where we're going to get stuck. The second question was, why didn't I tame it in a desert area? And that's because there's even less Amagas here. There's only a few spots where you can find them. It's a rocky cluttered area making them hard to move. There's groups of Carnos that can kill the Amagas. And there are no big creatures here like the Uti or the Rex. So the taming is slower. The reason why I says it was the best way to solo tame an Amagas was because it was the best place and way to tame an Amagas. And the third question which I thought was obvious, which thankfully only a few people asked, why don't I just trap that Amagas and then bring the creatures to it? Before I explain, everyone write in the comments why that won't work. Like I said in my video, the best way to solo tame an Amagas, if you move away from it, it cancels the tame and you've got to start again. You can do it when you're in a group, but not solo, and that was a hard part to work out. Right, now onto the good stuff. Fly around the map and find yourself a high level Alpha Rex. Then take your Amagas into an area next to it, by kiting it, Quetzal or Texgif. Note from this admin test, you cannot trap the Alpha Rex on a large bear traps, or use a net gun on it. So to trap an Alpha Rex, you'll need a different method. I'm in the grassy plains area. You can find Alpha Rexes here, but I didn't find any in the volcano area or the desert area, only Alpha Carnos. You can build whatever trap you want. This Alpha Rex traps work for me multiple times. Use metal dino doorways, because Alphas can break stone or wood, to build an octagon. Angle each door at 45 degrees. Put the last one in. There you go. It's a circle ish. Now we need to build a ramp to get the Alpha Rex inside it. Put a foundation down at the side of where the Alpha Rex is next to your trap. So you want the Alpha Rex running straight over the ramp into your trap. If your foundation is too low, you won't be able to connect a ramp to the side of it, as I'm demonstrating. I'll show you how to get around that in a second. Your ramp will need to be at least two foundations wide. And to get around how low they are, put two pillars in the centre, put the ceilings on top of that, then connect the ramps to the ceilings. Then build the ramps up, Depending on the ground level, the ramps need to be three or four high. You could make a ramp out of wood or stone, but if it messes up, the Alpha Rex is going to destroy it. I'm just doing it in metal for this demonstration. I think that's a little too high. Let me just demolish the top two. If you want it level with the top of your doorways. There we go, perfect. So the Rex is going to run in a straight line from where it is, to your ramp, over it, and into your trap. So make sure you build a ramp in the right direction. I'm going to drag this body into the centre of a trap because the Rex may stop to try and eat it and screw it up from getting inside the trap. There we go. I think we are ready. Right, kill or drive off any creatures the Rex might be tempted to aggro. Let's get rid of that one. So we're going to where the Alpha Rex is. As you can see, I built a trap quite a distance away from it. Shoot it with a shotgun, you'll get its aggro. And then start running for your life. You need to kite a Rex in a straight line to your ramp so it goes straight up it. Does it come in? Oh. It's busy on something else. If it's off to the side, go to the counter side of it. Shoot it up, oh, but it's aggro again. Make sure I line it up with the ramp. It walks up the ramp into the cage and it's trapped. 
Now, if you'd built that out of stone, it would now be demolishing it, but because you built it out of metal, it's fine. Now go where you left your amagas. Don't forget to take the food, to a curry or a soup. And then go up to it. Sink with it. I'll try and hump your face. Take it back to your trap. Keep an eye on it. Right, change to your net gun. It will do a call when it's aggressively going to attack it. But when it gets close to the trap, shoot it with a net gun and knock it down. Check to make sure the taming bar is there. If not, it's took too much damage. You can shoot it once with a net gun and then get away with it. Then get metal billboards, not wooden ones because they can break it. And leave a gap for its head because it needs to stick its neck out towards a trap. If you block off the front and don't give it enough space to stick its neck out, then you won't get any taming added to it. As you can see, I'm blocking it in using six billboards. You could try it with just two at the front, but it might escape out the back. All right, just making sure there's enough clearance and the wrecks won't attack it. All right, go to your tame list and click on it to add the tracker. You do that to see how much taming bar you've got. And then just wait for the net to break so it can stand up. The taming bar doesn't seem to go up when it's on the ground. There we go, it move forward a bit, start shooting the Rex, and you'll gain taming bar for each shot you do. But because the Rex is aggroed on the trap, hopefully it won't bite the tame. Right, the tame's neck needs to be sticking forward towards the Rex. If it isn't, when it's not aggroed on the Rex, then it won't get any XP if you do damage. We've done enough damage to feed it kibble, which I just did. Do more damage. I walk at either side of our tame, just so it points forward, as the our gas will follow you. Blue text has come up, so we can feed it kibble again. You can watch the taming bar go up on the tracker, the little blue icon. Let's see how much it's got. It's quite a lot. Reload. Blue text has come up, we can feed it another kibble. Make sure its head's pointing forward towards the prey. Just keep shooting it. Blue text has come up again, feed it another kibble. Walk to the other side because it was pointing a bit to the left. Keep shooting the racks. You can of course use a tech pistol to shoot it, or give it constant damage. Kibble text has come up again, feed it. With an alpha, literally every time you shoot it, your taming bar goes up, which is awesome. If it's heads off to the side, just check its taming bar and make sure it's going up before and after you shoot it. Make sure you're getting taming experience. Can't feed it a kibble yet. Now I can. This is better than wandering around, isn't it? Almost done. There we go. <laughs> An easy 100% tamed Amarga gas. Right, let's put a saddle on it. What do you think? Are you impressed with that? Yes, you are. So please like and subscribe. Show me that you like these vids. Thank you. Right, put it on passive. Shall I demolish that? No, I'm going to demolish your back ones and show you something else. Right, let's reverse this one. Keep that little billboard trap as it is. Take the tracker off. 
Now, if you've found a high level Alpha Rex and you've found some good Amagash you want to tame, then drag all the Amagash you want to tame there before you start all this. If you solo by yourself. If it was two of you, then you could bring another one with a Quetzal, a Tex Gif, or a Kite it down while you wait there next to the Rex. Because if you leave a Rex there and it's not being attacked, it'll get its health back. That means you can just wait there a while, AFK next to it, wait for it to heal up, then you can bring in another Amagast to tame, which I just so happen to have here. So sync with it. You need to make sure these are in a safe area. Yes, I did do some testing. Make sure it's following. Drag it in and line it up with a billboard trap. Walk it in. Oh, it's not doing a call yet. Put a billboard behind it to lock it in. There we go, it's now trapped. Sometimes you have to be really close to an alpha for it to aggro. You're going to do it. There you go, it's done a call, it's aggroed onto a Rex. The Rex is more interested in eating a trap than eating a prey. The Amagas starts to attack the Alpha Rex. We started to get taming. Now to save on shotgun ammo, get on your Amagas you've just tamed. Put points into melee. Press C to switch to fire spikes. Shoot the fire spikes into the cage and burn the Alpha Rex's ass. You'll constantly do damage to it. And look at the blue icon on the new tame, and you notice its taming's going up because the fire damage is doing damage to it. And that's adding to its taming bar. This gotcha clause is in my way. Keep shooting it with fire spikes. It'll set the Alpha Rex on fire. You don't have to use shotgun ammo anymore. And just carry on until your second tame's done. Then wait a while for the Alpha Rex to heal up. Then bring in a third one if you want and carry on. You can have an Amagas taming farm. You get the idea. I hope this video has been helpful for you and if it has, please like and subscribe. Share it with your friends to help them tame. Click the bell notifications on all to get notified when I upload videos next. As I have more taming tests to do with this creature, don't forget to check out the other videos at the end. Goodbye.